Hello, it's Kristen. Welcome to my perfectly imperfect life. How you doing? I'm doing okay. I feel like I'm get, coming down with a cold. I'm not sure. Or it could be with just the whole weather change allergies. All the allergies and stuff. Anyway, okay, um, this is a Dollar Tree haul for you. We are going to call it semi-camping edition. I think the other one I did, I got some stuff for our camping trip. But um. Yeah, so let's get into it. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. All right, for starters, um, I wanted to buy a little something for my friend's grandchildren. And I am going to show you, and I'm going to say their names. I want to do a shout out to them. Ariana, this one is for you. This is a sticker mermaids puzzles. So, <clears throat> pardon me. It's like a sticker book. Where are the puzzles? Oh, okay. The puzzles are back here so hopefully this will keep them busy and they'll have fun and James this one is for you doesn't that look fun this one is sticker space bots puzzles for puzzles so kiddos I'm gonna give these to grandma tomorrow at work okay I hope you like them I think I would if I was a kid all right we are gonna get into let's say kitchen okay or just like household goods I've been looking for this. Uh, I've seen other people haul it. And this is the Brillo Basics Dish Spray. I buy the Dawn Dish Spray. It's a little on the pricey side, but it's, I love it and it does its job. So I'm curious to see how this one works. I bought two and I will be, bring one of these camping to uh, do our dishes pretty easy. So that'll be nice. I picked up some good sense drawstring draw string tall kitchen bags uh, you get 12 in here this is for camping I would not use this in my house because I don't think they're strong enough but I think this would be perfect for camping to throw all my trash away <clears throat> and I got some this is quart size no storage quart and this is a gallon size the gallon is 16 and this one is 20 this one right here and I got these because I'm gonna be doing sub sandwiches one night and uh, I'm going to need the baggies to seal everything in. And when we have snacks and stuff, it always helps to bring these bags when you go camping. And this is always quite helpful. I love these. I prefer Reynolds brand, but they are perfecto. They are wonderful. So I'm going to bring these camping as well. And then I bought two of these. These are two piece packs they're little trays I thought I would put the cold cuts on one or you know and then the cheese on another and then one of them I'll put the tomatoes and the onions and the lettuce and all that fun stuff on it so I'll do that and a lighter I bought a lighter for I'll bring candles I'm gonna bring incense and it just oh and for my stove this is gonna be good for my camp stove always helps to have these lighters because like I said I'm a candle lady and I uh you know, always need to have these for our fire for our, I was going to say fire pit for our, well I guess it's going to be a fire pit I got these Duraflame fire start indoor outdoor and my friend is going to bring a lot of kind, kindling and all that kind of stuff um, I bought this tough plus non-abrasive all-purpose cleaning wipes this is going to be helpful when you're cooking at the stove while camping I'm going to use this to no end. I always have to have things clean. So let's hope it's good. Um, I think that's that for like kitchen housewares -y or you know for that kind of stuff. Uh, I saw these and pardon me. Whoa, pardon me while I reach over to you. I bought three of these. This is Campbell's brand Flavor Up. One of them is caramelized onion and burgundy wine rich garlic and herbs and savory mushroom and herb 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 <laughs> um, these are five calories and it says flavor up boost the flavor of any meat veggie or grains dish by adding one tablespoon or more so I thought that this might be fun and it's salt yeast extract tomato puree maltodextrin mushrooms natural flavoring garlic sugar contains less than 2% of dried onions, thyme, xanthan gum, and dried parsley. So, <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to give these a shot. 
I saw them at two Dollar Trees, so they're out. So check them out, check them out. So, like I said, I'm one night I'm doing sub sandwiches, and I have a friend who likes to put vinegar on hers, and I didn't want to bring my whole big, she's from New Jersey, and she likes Jersey Mike's, and she likes to put red wine vinegar on her, on her um, sandwiches. Oh, and she taught me to put red wine vinegar, dip my pizza in red wine vinegar. I love it that way, so good. Anyway, we had a camp meeting last night, and she said to bring vinegar, and I'm like, eh. I don't really want to bring my big bottle of red wine vinegar. So my other friend said, how about Italian dressing? So I, I oh, I'm going to do that. She said she's going to bring it, but I, I came across these. And I've seen them, but I never buy them. I thought this might be nice to, it comes in three serving, single serving cups. And I'm sure that one little cup will be good on three sandwiches, maybe. You know, just like dribble it on. So anyway, I got Italian dressing. I looked for red wine vinegar at... The Dollar Tree like a small bottle and they didn't they just had balsamic they had apple cider vinegar and then I looked at Aldi and they didn't have it there either I'll still be on the lookout to humor my friend but um, in the meantime I think we'll just do Italian dressing so oh let's add let's continue on with the um, sub sandwiches thought I would buy some Golden's mustard spicy brown and this looked good. Sweet hot mustard. This is a small little jar. 3.5 ounce and this one is <clears throat> 12 ounces. So, so that will be good with sandwiches. Not necessarily for sandwiches but just to snack on black olives. And dill chips. This will be great in a sandwich. In a sub sandwich. I already had jalapenos and from Aldi I bought um, pepperoncinis. And then I'm going to figure out what other things to buy and we're just gonna have a big yummy spread I bought four cans of this Del Monte fresh cut diced tomatoes another friend is gonna do a big breakfast in the morning she's gonna do bacon eggs or sausage or whatever <clears throat> they said I've got these cans of potatoes and I will cook them up in a pan so that'll be fun and I think that is that for food for camping so let's get on into, oh, I'm so happy I found these. Splenda French Vanilla Coffee Creamer. Splenda Sweet Cream Coffee Clean, Cleaner. <laughs> Co coffee Creamer. So maybe I'll bring these camping. So I, I can't wait to try them. And then this one I saw. Refresh Me Drink Mixers Strawberry Margarita. Sugar free. I like to drink a lot of sugar free. I have sugar free um, margarita mix and um, I just prefer not to have a lot of sugar. You know where I get my sugar when I want my sugar? Oh my gosh. I love my Reese's peanut butter cups. So if I don't eat sugar elsewhere, this is where I'm going to eat it. Oh boy. I had two of, no, I had four of them and I'm down to three. I wonder what happened to the other one. Hmm. Anyway, <clears throat> so, and I bought a little thing of Jim Beam Bourbon Vanilla. I'll try this. Maybe I'll bring this camping. And that's that. Okay, so we have a horrible, icky, yucky, icky, wookie carpet. Just ugly carpet. And one day I'll replace it. It's been here since over 20, almost 20 years, so it's time. Anyway, some of the carpet is coming up, and you know how the little, um, the little pokey thingies are on it, the tacky thingies? Well, um, I had a got a little rug to put on top of it and it keeps sliding so I got one of these hopefully this will work a non-slip rug underlay underlay yeah underlay so we'll see that was probably TMI too much information don't get um, it's okay don't make fun of me because I have ugly carpet all right I bought power clips chip clips for camping so I, oh yeah I still work this is a camping item for camping I picked up some of these canning snap lids this is just the middle part, and then there, this is the part when I can. You don't want to reuse these, or you don't want to recan them. But, um, and even with, uh, like if you're reusing something, sometimes they get kind of grody and rusty. So I thought it would be helpful to buy these, and you get 10 pieces in here. I already have the little rings, so it'll be helpful to have this. Just for like if I make salsa or a dressing, and I shake it up in my uh, mason jar, then that would come in handy. And, um... Advil PM always helps. <laughs> you get four in a pack. 
<clears throat> All right, this is a six in one stylus pen style it stylo six in one. Oh, I was just repeating it in a different language, I guess. <laughs> I thought this might be fun. I don't know. I was, it's no big deal. Anyway, I got two of these jergens. One is I'm going to take camping. I got some poo poo plates, poo poo as in P U P U as in uh, Hawaiian style appetizer poo poo. They come 18, two, uh, 18 a pack. They're pretty springy. I'm going to bring those camping. Oh, pardon me. I think I might be getting a cold. I'm not sure. I bought a sympathy card for a friend's father passed away. So I'm giving that to her. And I bought her an orchid from Trader Joe's. All right. So I have two of these really pretty plastic tape covers. These will go with my... Um, other plates that I did in a different haul, like spring plates that I'm taking for my friend's birthday. And speaking of, I bought more of these cups. These are just going to be fun for what? Mama says. Oh, you know what I should do is I should bring grapefruit juice, cranberry juice, orange juice, some fun juices like have a um, mimosa bar. That would be fun. Anyway, so I bought more of these. And I like to have these at home when a friend comes over and we have a little champagne chair. It's just nice to have these. And they're pretty colorful, springy. So I picked this little container up. I thought when we go camping, we could put our cutlery in it. So, or something in it. We'll see. That, and, oh, when I give people gifts, I, I put stickers on their gift bag. So, or on their little card, and these are pretty. And I think that's it. Oh, I do have this thingy. This I ran into. This is a curly and ripply circle. I can't read it. It's funky writing. Anyway, what it is, is I don't know. Let's find out together, okay? So, oh, let's see. It says, Welcome to Cyrus. We are driven to create remarkable hairstyling products to empower users to style your own hair easily at home. We at Cyrus are breaking, pardon me, <clears throat> are breaking the mold by allowing you to create a perfect finishing touch. Blah, 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 blah. Um, does it say how to do it? Okay, here it is. This is what it looks like. Here's this. Oh, it turns. And it comes with, are these replacements? No, they're bigger. These, three more of these. And then they have this size. So let's see. Um, well, look, it has, watch. Already I can tell you why it's at the Dollar Tree. So it has what you can do, all the different things. Wait, tip two. Wait, let's see if there's one with long hair. Tip three. Oh, wait. I don't know. It just it just shows picture. So let's see what this does. Okay, ready? Don't get caught in my hair. I don't know if my hair needs to be have like something in it. Ow. Oh my god. <laughs> Two shy shy hush hush add away. It looked like an eighties gal. Wake me up before you... Oh, I am an 80s gal. Okay, so we get the idea on what this is supposed to do, right? And it's windy outside. We're just... The rain is passing. It's gone. Okay, that's funny. Anyway. All right. That's the whole kit. My caboodle. Cab caboodle. Caboodle, folks. Um, thank you for watching. I know it's not a lot of exciting stuff. I really went to the Dollar Tree to look for the Elvis and the Beatles coloring books. Oh, I want that so darn toot and bad. I want it before we go camping so when we have downtime, I could, you know, I could play with it and give one to my brother. One of my brothers likes Elvis and the other one likes the Beatles. Now, do they color? That's a question, but it would be fun to have. So, anyway, well, I hope you have a most wonderful day and um, be positive, will ya? Will you do it? Just be positive. Okay. Think and it shall come. Anyway, have a good day. Bye.